Hey, what's up, man? I think uh, I have a lot to tell you, but uh, actually, I need your attention in one way or the other. Um, I shaved my hair, you see, the way my head looks. I didn't know I would have a online session with you guys, but uh, I have decided to have a session with you because... I do believe it is important to always come online, hear something, and uh, leave you digesting about it. And then maybe you can give me your comments there concerning what I was talking about. And uh, I do believe we have actually stabilized everything that needs to be stabilized the way it's supposed to be. I was away for a while. I had a wedding to attend, family wedding, and uh, actually that... Uh, worked out very well for me and uh, now I'm back we can have conversation we can talk about uh, what you want us to discuss about but uh, I, I want to say since I came I have attended one African wedding that took place here and actually I was invited after staying away for a very long time the moment I was given the invitation notice, I asked myself, why me? And uh, I have not been in this nation for so many years ago. So I, I felt like uh, I'm honored, I'm respected, I'm given this so that uh, actually I can feel like I'm part of the family. I met so many people. We discussed a lot of things, family affairs business corporates and so many for so many things we engaged on i i'm happy everything is good everything was good we enjoyed being together and uh, eventually we parted ways i went my way they went their ways hospitality is very crucial and very essential here and uh, i really admired the way people respected me showed me around gave me a hand and i was actually feeling honored i ate african food the food the way it was prepared was awesome it was actually something i've never had to experience outside the food was organic cooked with firewood and served while hot definitely that made me feel good I, I I felt like uh, I have uh, distracted detracted myself from westernized societies and corporates that kept on brainwashing me and telling me I have to do ABCD to so that my things can be like a westernized. You know, I did not like that stereotype. People have time for me here. We had discussions. We talked a lot of things. I I I really. I felt like uh, I'm appreciated, I'm given opportunity, I'm recognized. And uh, the only question that was lingering in my mind was uh, being asked, when will you marry? When will you have family? When will you do such kind of things? You know, they don't know you first. So they're asking you with that special, maybe you don't have family, you came, and maybe they want to throw their daughters to you. And considering it's in a village, People are well organized. They don't just ask you questions. The way your mindset and uh, the look at your characteristic and how you're responding to them. And then that's the time now they'll think, okay, I think uh, he's one of us. We can ask him what we want to ask him. And maybe probably he will answer. But the way he will answer, that will tell us if we will continue with the conversation or we are going to upheld the conversation. That is the mindset you will encounter here, which actually was a good thing for me because I didn't have it before and I didn't expect and people were anxious about knowing those titters I'm trying to define here. I, I felt like uh, it's, a, it's a time now to open up and tell them, excuse me guys, uh, what you're asking me for? Probably I have, but I did not tell them I have, neither did I tell them that I don't. So I left them hanging in the balance because I wanted actually to buy time with them and uh, 
excuse and be whatever you want it to be. Uh, that is a good experience of attending an African wedding and showing that I, I was part of them. I ate and we gave gifts. We met people we have never seen before. And uh, that made me feel I'm orientated in this society, which was something I was not expecting because people you have not met for quite some time, you you must wait for the chemistry to take place. And uh, emotions now comes after. Once those things happen, you are already settled physically and mentally now. You, you can feel you're aligning with them, which is a difficult part that affects many. In these weddings we attend here in Africa, these are the weddings where you can meet somebody. You can meet the woman of your dream. You can meet friends, people you have never been with for quite some time. So you meet new people, new friends. So I, I, I would advise everybody, if you know you're in diaspora and you want to come to Africa, these social gatherings are so welcoming. They are very hospitable and there's a lot of plenty of time. You can buy time, you can uh, wait, and uh, eventually you will actually get uh, something out of these relationships that are existing here, which I would encourage all of you in case you feel like uh, it's not working for you in abroad, in those concrete jungle environment where you are still typed to work and being Americanized, you know, westernized and all that. You can offload and come and detox here. You'll find people you have never seen before. They'll be your friends. You'll have encounters with them. And you feel yeah, it's a good it's a good experience. By the time you go back, you have created contacts, you have created friendships. You have created so many things that actually will help you in the near future to build up a network of the things you want to. And this is how you grow yourself. This is how you grow. This is how you increase your capacity of doing things. This is how you create friends. Business opportunities comes up. Opinions that are dropped on the table by people who are excited to see, to know you're back. They expect you have a lot. And they can offer you their knowledge on the ground because they actually know everything. Even their uncles, the the fathers, the aunties, they'll be whispering to you, there's a there's a piece of land somewhere. If you know you're prepared, we can take you, go and check it, and then we take you to the uh, government attorneys. You go, you do the paperwork, search, to know whether it's a genuine seller or not. These are the things we experience when you attend these social gathering, weddings and such kind of things. You know, I do believe you're understanding what I'm pushing to you. Hit that subscription button and the notification bell. Share and like. And uh, thank you guys for being there for me. You know, you are awesome. I look at it in a very dignified perspective. You always shine. You always give me time. It's not easy to do podcast, And uh, it takes time and manpower and uh, devotion and how to direct the content actually is is a skill that uh, if if you're not trained for it you 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 will definitely not make it but uh, perseverance is is the most important thing above all things and uh, i do wish you all the best enjoy and have great times maybe we'll meet again Thank you. Like now, you can see here I'm standing. Behind me, we have a tree. This one here. You can see it. This one. I do believe you can see it. These are pawpaws. Pawpaws growing. And uh, I do appreciate that uh, the nature is taking its course. And uh, here now, next to me, you can see you can see what this one is coffee berries and these coffee berries if I may take a few of them and uh, I can show you can you see them these are coffee berries they are green and they are growing to become 
the, 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 the pellets. And uh, they are commonly used to make the coffee you drink. When you go to the shop, here behind me, you can see this vegetation. These are bananas. You see? These are bananas. These are bananas. And these bananas, they grow in this area. You can have a look at them. And uh, they are actually in low form. I'm trying to look for a banana tree that is well grown. So at least you can uh, actually be able to have a glimpse of exactly what I'm trying to push to you as an agenda in case I may want you to have a true understanding of what I'm saying. Here, you see these ones. These ones, these, this is a, this is a, what do you call it, is a sweet potato. Is for sweet potato. You grow, you harvest it, and then you eat. Then is a full. This one. You see this one. You see it. You see this one. This is a tree. This is a tree for the bananas. Actually, I wanted to show you a little bit of my environment where I am right now, in the rurals where. You can grow anything you want anytime and uh, actually you can enjoy it you can see the terrain there as the terrain that is, uh, that is green otherwise i'm happy have a great time